what we're going to be looking at here is depletion of natural resources uh, where we're going to be changing the estimate of recoverable reserves. And this is where we're going to revise the depletion, depletion rate on a prospective basis here. Now depletion rates are only estimates and they may have to be revised during the life here of a natural resource asset here. And our example here is where a mining company originally purchased the tract of land to be mined here for minerals in 20x1 and later in year 20x4 they revised the estimate of the minerals which are recoverable off this tract of land after mining it here for three years here from 20x1 through 20x3. And in 20x4 they must calculate a new depletion rate here based on this revised estimate. So uh, just for our example here, Corporation A here, a mining company purchased this land here, has land cost here and estimated materials on the land here and uh, then there's some cleanup and restoration costs and some salvage value here in the land and then all the development costs incurred here in this uh, mining of this track of land here. And just uh, to review how we would calculate here our depletion base and our depletion rate here on this on this my on this land that's being mined here. Of course the depletion base here uh, include uh, the costs that are included would be the acquisition, exploration, development and restoration. So our we to determine our depletion base here, uh, what we take is the land purchase cost here, add to it the cleanup and restoration in this example, and subtract here the salvage value on the land, and then add any development costs here on the land. So what we had here, uh, total depletion base of $2,880,000. Now our depletion uh, rate here, that's simply taking the depletion base here of $2,880,000 and dividing it by the total estimated materials, uh, minerals that we had estimated to be uh, included or to be mined off this land here of 60,000 tons. So going back down here we take the depletion base here of 2,880,000 divided by 60,000 tons, the estimate of uh, minerals that can be mined off the land and that's going to give us a depletion rate here of $48 per ton. And that's simply our equation here. We take our total cost here that's involved minus any salvage value and divide it by the total estimated units available. In this case, the tonnage is what we're looking at and what we estimated available here. And that's going to give us our depletion, depletion cost here per unit, which we calculated here to be $48 per ton was going to be the depletion uh, rate here on this original estimate we have here. So let's go back and look at what, we're, our, what we have to do here for this change here. So for Corporation A, this mining company, they revised its estimate here of recoverable reserves here is what they call it. So with the original estimate of materials on the land here was 60,000 tons here and that was in 20x1. Now the minerals that were removed here uh, uh, through 20x3 here from 20x1 to 20x3 here they removed 30,000 tons off this track of land here. So what was remaining here from the original estimate was simply the 60,000 original uh, the tons that we originally estimated and then we removed 30,000 tons so the remaining amount here was 30,000 tons that they estimated after the original estimate would be the 30,000 tons here of uh, minerals on this land. Now we came up with a new estimate here of min minerals remaining here in 20x4 and we revised it down from the 30,000 tons that uh, would have originally been estimated here after the mining the 30,000 tons off of it. We revised it down here to 25,000 tons. So we got to come up with a new depreciation rate here for 20x4. So this is how we calculate and this is the key to the whole problem here. You take your original depletion base here that was the 60,000 tons here times $48 per ton. Our original depletion, depletion rate here gives us the $2,880,000 here uh, for our depletion base here. And then the amount depleted or taken off here was the uh, 30,000 tons that were mined off it at the original estimate here $48 per ton. And then we have that amount here $1,440,000. Subtract that here from the original depletion base here. And this gives us our new depletion, depletion base here remaining here in 20x4. So this is the key here. You just take your original total amount here that you estimated and then you subtract out any amount that you've depleted up to this point here and that's going to give you your new depletion base here, uh, the remaining amount here that uh, for 20x4 
here of $1,440,000 here. Now, for our new depletions, depletion rate here, all we do is take the new depletion base, the amount that's remaining here, $1,440,000, divided by the new estimated uh, tonnage of materials that are, we have estimated remaining on the land here. Uh, we estimated here in 20x4 to be 25,000 tons. So you divide your 25,000 tons into whatever the remaining base was here. Uh, and that was our new depletion, depletion base here, $1,440,000. So we get a new depletion, depletion rate here of $57.60 uh, $57 per ton. So you, just a note here, the original rate was $48 per ton. Now we revised it here to $57.60 uh, 60 per ton. So just remember here, you just take this new depletion, depletion base here is just the remaining amount here of our original base and then what uh, we had depleted up to that point. So you just take that, that becomes your new depletion, depletion base here, the remaining amount. And then just remember, you just divide it here by the new estimate here of um, total estimated units available. In this case, it was 25,000 tons comes up with our new depreciation rate here of, in this case, $57.60 per ton. So let's just say here for the uh, uh, 20x4, they remove 5,000 tons so off the land here. So we take it times the new rate here, uh, 5,000 tons times the new rate here, $57.60 per ton. That's going to get us a depletion cost here of $288,000. Now let's just go down here and just, just to point out here uh, what we would have here. for this say this mining tract to land, the original depletion base here was two million eight hundred eighty thousand dollars and then we have the accumulated depletion here 20x1 through 20x4 in this case and remember this is just a contra account that would be re reducing this uh, the, the value here of this uh, mining this tract of land here so uh, our first amount here we had uh, for the 20x1 here through 20x3 where the minerals removed here at the original rate here and we removed 30 tons at the original rate of $48 per ton. Now we revised it here for 20x4 we've got this new uh, rate here. So uh, our minerals removed here for 20x4 was let's say 5 tons here times the new rate here $57.60 per ton. So that was what we'd be recording here for 20x4 here, this new depletion depletion rate here. So our accumulated depletion, depletion here would have been the um, uh, 20x1 through 20x3 amount here at the original estimated $48 per ton. And then uh, for 20x4 all we did is we take that review revised depreciation rate here and we would be uh, uh, crediting our, our de accumulated depletion, depletion for that here and of course uh, the accumulated depletion uh, reduces this mining tract of land here its original depletion base here. All right, so that's all you do here when you're making those revised estimates. You have to uh, figure out, go backing up here, you have to figure out what's remaining here in your depletion base here. And if there are any corrections that have to be made at that point, you would make them here. But you take whatever is remaining here uh, and divide that here by the new estimated rate here in this case of the uh, nat uh, the uh, minerals that were remaining on the land that gives you your new depletion rate here that you would be applying for uh, any any um, future uh, period that you'd be looking at here for mining that land and any further removal in this case of minerals off the land you'd have to use this revised rate